What is up everybody, it's the Anime Watcher here and for today we are going to be continuing Volume 3. Now I'm, you know, in the last video I made it short because it was the prologue so I just wanted that video to be just the prologue so yeah that's the reason why it was short in the first place and you know, yeah I guess it makes sense right? So oh yeah before we actually start the video I just want to say I already did episode 2 and episode 3. But, I kid you not, the moment when Nagisa just broke out of character and she got pissed, it broke the game. It glitched my phone and it shut off. Literally, the file has been lost, but at least the important thing is we can still, you know, reread the chapter. So, it's not all gone. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. And, yeah, let's just dive right into the video. I seriously cannot believe Mika broke the phone. <laughs> I seriously can't believe that. Like, I seriously cannot believe Nagisa's rage or fury broke my phone. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I already explained it in the uh, in the opening. So yeah, let's just go to episode two and act as if you know, you know, we're just experiencing it for the first time. Makeup work club. I can't stand this anymore. I'm in agony, torment, misery, and it's all your fault, Sensei. Me? What did I do? You're going to hurt Sensei's feelings if you keep saying things like that, Koharu. Keep in mind that Sensei is only here to help us. Besides, it isn't their fault that you failed that exam. Hmm. I'm a member of the Justice Task Force. It's not my fault I have to miss so many classes. Strange. The same applies to the other Justice Task Force. Uh, la, la, I cannot speak. Strange. The same applies to the other Justice Task Force members. Yet you're the only one who failed, Koharu. <laughs> Koharu is so cute. Goodness, Azusa, are you trying to tell Koharu she isn't intelligent? P pretty much, Hanako. That's what Azusa is trying to say here. You can interpret that way. But the reality is that something... Oh, something. Sometimes life is just like this. You mean life is agony, torment, and misery? Like she said? That's deep. Why am I the only one being singled out? You all failed too. If I'm dumb, then so are all of you. <laughs> you guys. Idiots! The whole lot of you. That's why you're all in the makeup work club to begin with. You. You. And you! Koharu is really pissed. And you too! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, calm down, Koharu. I'm not a student, so I don't... I don't count. What did I do? That's my... That's my question. Okay, Koharu, deep breaths. Calm down. Calm down! We're all going to be expelled! And if I'm expelled, I'll be kicked out of the Justice Task Force! Anything but that! I can at least sympathize on that front. Expulsion is not an option. I won't go down without a fight, no matter how futile it may seem. <laughs> I do know, getting expelled doesn't seem like the end of the world, rather. Excuse me? Oh, oh wait, what? I actually thought that was Koharu. That was actually Hifumi. The music stopped as well. Whoa, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I, I was not expecting Hifumi to, like, react this way, because we never saw her react like this in Volume 1. I really like this a lot. It adds more to... Well, it doesn't mean, like, it adds more. But to me, at least, it adds more personality to the character. Because the last time we saw Hifumi was at Volume 1, and she was, like, known as the, uh... Uh, the caution... Not re oh, yeah, she was cautious. She was terrified the one who would you know who would get dragged into such chaotic events but would still end up enjoying it right so that was here for me in volume one and right now she just i mean i'm not gonna say she broke out of character but she is showing us a different side of her that we never got to see in volume one so i really like it when characters do that because it adds more to their personality they're not just Oh, it's that character because she's always like that. For example, Koharu, right? 
Koharu is like, anything lewd or perverted, it has to be destroyed. She reacts cutely. She gets embarrassed, flustered, yada, yada, yada. That's how we know that's Koharu, right? We don't know anybody else in Blue Archive as of yet who would react that way to anything lewd, right? Koharu is the only one who does that. Who literally gets flustered. I mean, everybody gets flustered, but to anything pervy or to anything lewd, she literally would freak out. And would be blushing and her face would be entirely red as if she was the sun, right? That's her personality. Hifumi as well is known to be, you know, just a normal, happy girl who gets dragged onto these events. I'm recalling to volume one. And I'm pretty sure Hifumi is a kind, sweet girl and she loves Peruro. That's, that's, that's a cute one, right? She's cute. Like, you guys can't deny that. Hifumi is a cute character. So... Seeing her act like this, is she like, ex, ex, uh, what's the word, exclaimed? Was she exclaimed? Was she, like, it's a new side of her. So, yeah, I really like it when characters do that. Even Azusa was just shocked. Actually, everybody was shocked. Even Hanako couldn't imagine what just happened. <laughs> so Sorry for yelling. What I mean to say is, we're all here to make sure it doesn't come to that. But if we don't start putting our heads together, we'll all be expelled in a week. I think this needs something more than a cliche like put our heads together to solve. What if we thought outside of the box instead? What if we thought outside the box? Something like, let's put our bodies together. <laughs> Yikes, Hanako, what are you saying? Choose your words carefully. I was just so confused. Okay, see? See, this is what I meant. Anything pervy or lewd, and of course, Koharu will react to it as we expected her to react. Like, have we ever seen Koharu, you know, interacting with, uh, with a pervy sentence or a pervy or a lewd sentence and not react that way? Have we seen her? Have we seen her done that? Right? That's what I'm trying to say. This is Koharu's personality. Her entire, uh, her entire character is based off being flustered at the at lewd or pervy stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Unless Koharu would be like showing us a different side of her. That's what I always love about characters. It makes them human. You get me? Ma, you don't have you don't have a very active imagination, do you, Koharu? We could always try it out together. Oh? Oh? What? Back it up! P personal space! I don't want to know! Sensei, please don't stop them. Don't stop them. Please don't. Do not stop them at all costs. Oh god. She is... She is thirsty. She is thirsty. <laughs> I really love how Kuara is sorry now. I'm sorry I snapped at you. Just let me go already. Fascinating. I've never seen such an effective restraining method in close quarters combat. And I love how Azusa is so innocent. <laughs> this will prove most useful. But I would have twisted her joy. Oh my god. You made too many unnecessary moves with your hand. Oh, can I get an art for that? Somebody has to make an art of that, right? Like Hanako and, uh, you know, Koharu, you know. I want to see her unnecessary moves with her hands. I'm curious. I'm curious to see. I love how Azusa's eyes so innocent as well. <laughs> God, Azusa's eyes is just beautiful. I just can't stop staring at her eyes. <laughs> People, me is just so confused. Sensei, please. No, no, don't stop them. Let them carry on. Please, please, please. Actually, can I actually see it as well? I'll try here for me, but no promises. Please do what you can. We're all going to be expelled at this rate. I really feel bad. A few weeks earlier. Hello, Ray Sensei. It's good to meet you. Oh, wait, it's Nagisa! Bro, I was focusing on the text. Nagisa! When are you playable? Please, get out of NPC jail already, girl. I want you to come home. 
please. How is this character not playable yet? How? Why? Nexon, free her already. What the hell? She looks so beautiful. I'm Kiri Fujinagisa, the host of the tea party. Oh my god. <laughs> what is it? What is it with this tea party section of the story? Why does it keep crashing my I mean, It didn't crash, thankfully. But well, what is it? What's happening? Trinity's tea party hereby welcomes the sensei of Shale. Oh god, I'm actually scared for episode 3. I think it might crash my phone again and I'm not ready for that. <laughs> I'm not ready for that at all. Tea party. I've been wondering what you might look like, Sensei. You don't look all that different from us. To be, uh, oh, but we don't have a halo, right? Do we have a halo? I'm gonna- wait, do we have a halo? I'm curious now. I think I- oh. Mika's pretty bold. She immediately told me that she liked me. Heh, <laughs> she liked me guys, not you. Calm down. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm saying earlier. God, I saw Mika's, uh, uh, her, her animations in J in a JP video. Mika is so cool. She's so pretty. She has a pretty EX skill. I really want Mika. I cannot wait to, like, pull for Mika, man. She looks so cute. So, yeah, I think I'll be saving up for Mika afterwards. Because, goddamn, she looks so cool and pretty cute. I don't believe it's polite. Wait, what? I don't believe it's po it's polite to comment on such things in front of Sensei Mika. There's no shame in affection, but there's a proper time and place for it. Oh, is that how it works? I love how she's so goofy as well. I really like that about Mika's character. Sorry, Sensei. I guess I was being too informal. I guess I should say something like, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm pleased to meet you too, Mika. Now I am curious though, what happens later on in the story? Because I keep seeing that Mika crying face. That crying face, it's, it's not an emote, but that, that image alone makes me want to give her a hug. Like what, what will happen in volume 3? I'm so curious, like who hurts, who hurts her? Who hurts Mika? I don't want her to cry. See, how can you hurt a girl like Mika? She's so cute. Actually, no, don't worry, Mika. I'll protect you. I'll protect you, Mika. No bad guy will ever hurt you again. Nobody will hurt you because I am here, Mika. If memory serves, you're the first person outside of Trinity to be invited to the tea party. Oh, so this is like the big shot or the VIP area. This is normally a place that ordinary students could scarcely hope to be invited to. Sheesh, Nagi, don't make sense. <laughs> it's pretty cute how Mika calls her Nagi. Oh. <sighs> that wasn't my attention, Mika. Right, my bad. I'll keep a lid on it. We brought you here because we have a small favor to ask. And what's that? Hold on, Nagi. Are we really going straight to the point? Shouldn't we, like, make small talk or something? Chat a bit to break the ice? We could talk about how great the weather is or what we ate yesterday. Should we really be skipping all that? Isn't the tea party supposed to be all about social gathering? Ooh, she is starting to get pissed. I do not like that. You can stare at me with those pretty eyes all you want, but I'm not backing down. This has to do with proper tea party etiquette. You're more than welcome to uphold those values when you're the host, Mika. I am the host at the moment, so you will be following my lead. Whenever any anime character or any character does this reaction, it always brings me fear. You know, because they're trying to act calm. They're trying to act like, I'm not going to kill you. So you have to stop speaking right now. So yeah. <laughs> Even Mika already notices it. 
Forgive me, it's un it's unsightly for us to quarrel in front of a guest. Why don't we change the subject as Mika suggested? You all act as Trinity Student Council presidents, right? Where's Seiya though? I'm also curious. Because we talked to Seiya at the prologue, right? So where's Seiya in all of this? Shouldn't she be... Because this is the exact same room, right? Where Seiya and I talked. It was evening, but... I think it's the same room. Whoa, since you can really read the room. Take a good look, Nagi. Those are some grown-up conversational skills. Listen to the eloquence and flow. Like, I'm really curious, where is Seiya in all of this? We met her in the prologue, but she's not here. Can any- can- can you guys tell me where Seiya is at the, at this point of the story? I'm pretty curious, I wanna know. Ignoring that, yes, you are correct, Sensei. We are the student council presidents of Trinity. You might be wondering why there are multiple presidents. It's a tradition of Trinity Student Council to have multiple presidents serve simultaneously. <laughs> hey, why did you ignore me, Nagi? Before Trinity was unified, the representatives of each branch academy would hold tea parties to resolve any disputes. Are you really doing this? That's so mean, my feelings. I feel bad for Mika already. The representatives of the Pater, Phileas, and Sanctus Academies came together to hold tea parties meant to create an atmosphere of reconciliation. And since then... You're just straight up ignoring me, Nagi! Are you doing this to get back at me? You're the worst! This is how you treat a friend that you've known for over 10 years? The student counts- oh god, she- she is still going at it. She is not breaking. The student council of Trinity has been called a tea party and the representatives of each faction host- Okay, now she break- now she breaks. Oh god. Oh god. She is pissed. Oh, oh, but this is what I said earlier. Seeing a different side of a character that we rarely see. I really like that when... Uh, God, I'm just repeating what I said. But it really adds more personality to them. I really like that touch a lot. So first it was Hifumi, now it was Nagisa. That's so interesting, okay. So they have... I mean, it makes sense considering Mika is Nagisa's childhood friend. Because normally, I bet Nagisa wouldn't show this personality to, like, any of the other students, right? Because she's known as the calm and persevere president. Like, the peaceful one. So it would make sense that she wouldn't say stuff like this and she wouldn't act like this. But since it's just me, I mean, cause it's interesting how she can act like that when I'm here. I actually thought she would be like, try to like, contain that personality and you know, hide it. Or just vent it out later on, but no. She is showing us everything about her in front of us immediately. That's what I like about that. She is not afraid to show her ugly side. I mean, is it really an ugly side? I don't, I don't, I don't think. I'm not saying it's an ugly side, but the fact that we see her act this way that's that's a huge new personality that we just learned and i always love that when characters do this so god damn i feel bad for Nico. see i i would not expect nagisa to say this so seeing her say it literally in front of me that is something new because in volume one she was like peaceful calm she was always smiling but now she's pissed She's wrath. She's angry. She just can't hold it anymore. That's so interesting. And I'm actually scared because this is where my phone crashed. This is where my phone crashed. So I'm just scared now. I, I really love it when they do stuff like these. It's so fun. They're not just one-sided characters. They have human emotions as well it, it, that's what makes the game alive for me seeing well yeah the story also helps with that but the characters and then the gameplay but knowing that the characters have other emotions than the ones we're currently aware of 
I really love that. I really, really love that. It builds more to them. Pardon me, I don't know what came over me. <sighs> My apologies, Mika, Sensei. So scary. Please just let them get to the point already. Oh, we're not. Oh, we're just thinking it in our heads. No, I feel bad for Mika. She didn't deserve that though. Nagisa. Apologize more to Mika. She didn't deserve that. She didn't deserve all of that. Yeah, simple but important. Very important. Could you take charge of the makeup work club? Makeup work club? Yes, to put it plainly, we want you to operate a special class meant to save failing students. Trinity is an academic institution with a long history of intellectual and martial excellence. But somehow, this proud institution has no less than four failing students. Ah, I wasn't expecting Hifumi to be in the club as well. To be honest, because in volume one, I, I actually thought Hifumi was like smart. She was, uh, what else? I don't know, like not a failing student. That was so surprising to me. Things are pretty disorganized due to the Eden Treaty. We need to deal with these failing students pronto, but we're short on manpower and time. That's when we read this, an article about all the amazing things Shale has been doing. Finding ca- oh my god. Oh yeah, I'm also curious. Where does Eden Treaty take place? Does it take place after volumes 1 and 2 or... Actually no, that's a pretty stupid question to ask. I'm pretty sure... The timeline for Blue Archive is Prologue, Volume 1, Volume 2, 3, and 4. I'm pretty sure that's the timeline, otherwise th this wouldn't be called Volume 3 now, would it? So, yeah, okay, forget that, forget I said that, guys. I'm pretty sure the timeline is, you know, the flow of the volumes, so, yeah. I just really hope that, uh, events from other volumes would get noticed here. When Mika, when Mika said that she heard about all the things Shale has done, she could have said like, saved Abydos or helps the game development department, you know? It would be a nice touch to like, make the world be more alive. The continuity, I mean. The continuity, I mean. There was someone we could stick with all our most tedious work right under our noses. You're our savior. Uh, I wouldn't go quite that far, Mika. Why not? That's what we're doing, isn't it? Besides, you're a teacher, Sensei. These days, lectures are held on Blu-ray discs while we still have faculty members, administration, guest lecturers, and associate professors. A regular old teacher is pretty rare. A teacher is someone who uses their own knowledge to guide others, right? In other words, a leader. In that sense, a teacher is also someone who commands respect and gives others directions in life. That sounds perfect for the makeup work club. God, Mika's so cute. I can't wait for her to be playable. I can't wait for Nagisa to be playable as well. Nexon, free her already. I want her so badly. Yes, but I've heard Sensei here isn't quite someone I'd consult with about my direction in life. <laughs> I feel you. We've heard a lot of stories about you. I'll save you the embarrassment of repeating what we heard. Okay, what? Okay, what have you heard? What have you two heard? What kind of reports are they getting? I know. What reports? Anyway, we're in a bit of a jam, so you taking care of this would be great. The Makeup Work Club will be a special club intended to give failing students the help they need. Given it's being made under the current restrictions, Shalai's extra judicial, extra judicial, oh, oh yeah, extra judicial, oh my god, that's such a hard word to pronounce. Authority will be necessary to have it established. It's a necessary expenditure if it's to help failing students. What do you say, Sensei? Surely you wouldn't turn away students in need. I won't refuse if it means helping students who need me. Yes, we did it! Thank you, Sensei. Very well. I didn't necessarily expect you to decline our request, but... Never mind. Just take a look at this document. Take the list. These are the students. 
Yep, each one a thorn in Trinity's side, so to speak. Bruh, don't say it like that, Mika. Come on. Be nice. You could put it more tactfully than that, Mika. We'll put it this way. These are the students in need of Trinity's love. Sure, whatever. Wait a minute. Huh? Do you recognize any of these students, Sensei? Answer vaguely. We'll send you some documents with all the- Oh, that makes sense! We know Hifumi because she helped us during Volume 1! That's so nice. It's such a nice callback. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I guess there is some continuity here and there. What's the Eden Treaty? Um, that's a toughie. It is quite a long story, so we'll set aside some time for that at a later date. The information is classified after all. Oh, but Seiya tells us about the Eden Treaty, right? When does that happen? Regardless, it doesn't concern your work with the Makeup Work Club. Shouldn't the tea party have- th Oh, three, there we go! Finally, we're addressing where Seiya is. Well, yes, but... Seiya isn't at Trinity right now. She's taken- No, wait, what? Wait! But we were just talking to her at the prologue. Unless that was just her, you know, monologuing. Wait, what? Correct. Seiya is supposed to be the one hosting this party, but since she's absent, I'm hosting in her place. We all take turns acting as the tea party's host, though that also isn't any of your concern. I guess that's it then? Splendid. You can officially work for Trinity once preparations are complete. Once again, we appreciate your assistance. This will be a great help to us. Bye, Sensei. See you next time, hopefully. It's actually unusual for every tea party host to be gathered in one place. Oh, don't act like we're always busy. Still, this meeting with Sensei is the first time I've seen your face in a while. It's nice. I feel the same way, Mika. <laughs> we'll be counting on you, Sensei. I will be escorting you from this point forward to as the host of the tea party. Well, it's nice to meet you too. Man, when is Nagisa gonna be playable? That's my only complaint. Next on! Come on! I need Nagisa to be playable. Now! So we're now back to present, right? I decided to see a student whose name I recognized on the list for the makeup work club. Here for me, baby! Yes! Uh, Faust, right? Hell yeah! It really is you! <laughs> Hi, Sensei. I can explain everything. Well... Hell yeah! Continuity for the win! Hell yeah, I was wrong. We got some continuity after all. Okay. So, that was the end of... Well, not really the end. So, that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. I really love the continu uh, the continuity here. I was complaining about there wasn't any continuity whatsoever, considering Hifumi is there. But for some reason, we don't really like, you know, say, Hey, didn't I see you before in Volume 1 and stuff like that? But luckily, we actually do. So, okay, I really like that a lot. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. See ya!